gives geometric interpretation of each vector. So let me draw our coordinate system in 3D and then we will try to locate these vectors. Now when we are given order triple of a vector then we know tail is always at the origin and then this is the location of the head. So and when we have an order triple then this vector is in 3 space that means R3. Now that's our coordinate system where X, Y and Z are the three quadrants. Axis, right. And now here the vector 0, 3, 0. And that means that if you are starting at the origin you move 0 units towards X that means you don't move and then you move 3 units along Y. So if I move 3 units along Y I will reach say somewhere here, right? And then 0 units along Z. So basically you are stationed here. So the vector 0, 3, 0 is a vector along y-axis. Do you see that? So that is, let me call this vector as A. So vector A for us is a vector along y-axis. So we can say of three units, that is what it is. So it is a vector along y-axis. Now let's look into the next one which is 0, 0, 5. Let's give it a name, B. B is 0, 0, 5. That means we do not move towards X or Y, but we do move 5 units towards Z. So that is the vector which is along Z axis. So this is 5 units directing towards Z. So that is a vector along z-axis going in the positive direction as shown. So this is our vector B and the first one was our vector A. Let's look into the next one. Let's call it vector C. So vector C is 1, 2, 0. That means we will move one unit towards x-axis along the x-axis and two units less than this much and there you are. So this is our initial point, that's the terminal point. So now the vector will have a tail at the origin and it will be directing towards the head. So the vector will be along this. So this is our vector C. Do you see? This is our vector C. And as you can see that vector C is in xy plane. In fact, any vector along xy plane or on the xy plane will have z value as 0 as given here. Now, let's talk about vector d. Now, vector d is 0, 0, 0. It's a 0 vector and what is the location? It is right at the origin. So that is our vector D. So I'll just write D here. And now let's look into the next one and it is E for us. So vector E is given as 1, 0, 0. So 1, 0, 0 will be a vector 1 unit along the x-axis. So this we can say is a unit vector along x-axis. It could also be written as i, right? In general, when we are talking about unit vector along the axis, then along x-axis it is i, along y it is j, and along z it is k. So we found that these examples tell us geometric placement of a vector, and d was the point origin. So the vector is a zero vector right there at the origin, right? So this gives you an idea that if we have a vector along y-axis, then in that case, only values in the direction number of y will change. Do you see that? 
That means if I have a vector, let us say anywhere along x-axis, then in general the coordinates of that vector should be a, 0, 0. Do you get it? So from the direction numbers, we can actually visualize how the vector should look like. And that is the part of this exercise. So I think you get geometric interpretation of a vector next time when you see its ordered triple. I hope that helps. Thank you.